Hey, what's up everybody? This is Chicken Possible with Rewards Hunter, back with another Xbox Game Pass monthly quest guide. Today we're going to be working on the quest for the game Slay the Spire. We need to slay 21 enemies within this game before September 6, 2021, and we will earn 75 rewards points for doing this. Now this game is available on Xbox or on the cloud, so if you go to xbox.com play, you should be able to play it there if you prefer. And once we've got it loaded up, we'll go ahead and press A to get started. If you've done the quest previously in this game back in 2020, you may need to go ahead and abandon your run. So you'll just press Y to confirm on this screen. And then we can play and start a new game as normal. So we'll just start on the standard difficulty and choose the Ironclad, which is the default warrior in this game. And press A to embark on our quest to slay the Spire. So this is a turn-based card game basically with battles in it. It's kind of an interesting setup. When we first get started, you're basically just going to be choosing a path that you would like to go on as you go up the different levels of the spire. I looked for a path that had a lot of just standard enemies on it. Look at the legend on the right side of the screen, the elite with the big horns. You probably want to avoid those, but the standard enemies are the ones we want to battle against. Those are the easiest to defeat. So I chose the right path. Yours will be slightly different than mine. It's kind of randomized which enemies and which paths are available on each game. So Now I got really lucky on the first few enemies that I battled against. They were already weakened. You can see that the two that I'm fighting against have only one health point. So I chose the strike card, which uses one of my turns. You see the orange one at the corner of the card. So that was very easy to defeat those first two enemies just by using two strike cards in a single turn. So you can choose to use your rewards here. I usually went for choosing a card that was damage oriented, some sort of attack oriented card. And then sometimes you'll get to these question mark sections which don't really help you out. You can just leave or choose something. It doesn't really matter what you choose there for the most part. All right, so back into another battle. Again, I got really lucky. I had some weak enemies. They all had just one health point here. So these would be my third and fourth enemies to defeat. So all I need to do is use one strike card against them to defeat each one of them. And basically that battle is over. So I'm four for four. And then we're just collecting loot again. Try to choose a card that is damage oriented that you can use on your next round while you're moving up through the different levels of the Spire. These will get more difficult, I promise. All right, so this guy normally would be difficult to defeat, but he actually only has one health point as well. So I can just choose a strike card of some sort, some sort of attack. Some of the cards will have a zero on them like that, so they don't use up any of your turns. All right, so don't go for the elite. We want to go for the low level enemy there. Now this guy does have full health. He's got 44 health, so he's gonna be a little bit trickier to defeat this time. So I'm gonna start with this attack card that uses two out of my three. And then I chose to follow it up with a defense card. And then I hit end turn. So I hit the Y button to end the turn. Now it's the enemy's turn to attack me. So this is a thief guy, so he stole some of my gold when he attacked me. And it's my turn again. So I've got three points to use. So I used two on the clothesline there. And I could strike him again. I don't seem to have any defense cards to follow it up with, so I'll go ahead and use this zero point card to charge at him and then hit him one more time with a strike. And that actually was enough to finish him off. So we've got five enemies defeated so far. I'm not gonna show you every enemy that I defeated. It gets more and more difficult as you move up the spire. So you can see I actually went all the way to the top of the spire and defeated a bunch of enemies along the way. You don't have to do it that way, but if you get to somebody like this guy who is super difficult to defeat, you can see he's got 240 health points. I thought to myself when I got to this, there is no way I'm gonna win this battle. So one option is to press start and then press Y to abandon the run. Press Y one more time, and then you have to press A quite a few times, but you can get back to the main menu and basically start over and start fighting the low level enemies at the base of the spire again. So you really don't have to actually quote unquote slay the spire, you know, get all the way to the top and defeat everybody. You can just fight the low level enemies that are on the low levels of the spire, the first few interactions in the spire, and just keep restarting and fight those guys. You know, they're easier to defeat. Like these two have 12 health points. 
So they are much easier than that that boss that we just saw just a minute ago. I wouldn't recommend going up against the bosses or the elites. Just go for the low level enemies. You'll be able to defeat them more easily and more quickly as well so you can get the quest finished faster. All right, so I had nothing but defense cards there, so I just defended, but I think that one guy that I defeated was my final 21st enemy. It'll probably take you about 20 minutes or so to complete it to get all of the 21 enemies, but that is all you have to do on Slay the Spire. Just use your cards wisely, try to attack, try to defend a little bit when you need to, and take out 21 of those low-level enemies and you'll get it. So that's going to do it for Slay the Spire. We have got quest guides out for almost all of the weekly and monthly quests. We've got one more to work on for the Hunter, so that'll be out in just a little while. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you found that video helpful, please be sure to click the subscribe button here on YouTube and hit that bell for notifications. You can also find some helpful links in the description of this video if you want to stay connected with us. Stay tuned for more Microsoft rewards and achievement guides, and I'll see you in the next one.